Producers The Stereotypes Talk Helping Bruno Mars Find the Right Bounce for 24K Magic and Earning 3 Grammy Nods. If Bruno Mars hadn't already established himself as a bona fide superstar by the time he released his third album, 24K Magic, in November 2016, with four Billboard Hot 100 No. 1's, an awe-inspiring Super Bowl performance and a record of the year Grammy win for Uptown Funk Dash his latest LP certainly set that in stone. In addition to his recent Cardi B remix of Finesse creating serious buzz, Mars has earned another six Grammy nominations this year for 24K Magic, including a Song of the Year and Record of the Year nod. But while he's worked hard for his success, there's a little secret to how he's dripping in finesse these days, the stereotypes. The producer quartet, Jonathan Yip, Ray Romulus, Jeremy Reeves and Charm, helped Mars find the exact bounce he was looking for on 24K Magic's biggest hits, including the title track, That's What I Like and Finesse. And though they're just now receiving accolades for working with Bruno, the stereotypes and Mars go way back. How far? When the stereotypes started working together around 2007, their current manager, Larry Wade, was managing Bruno's right-hand man, producer, songwriter, and Mars the Smeezington's cohort. Philip Lawrence. Philip was like, man you guys gotta meet this kid named Bruno, I've been working with him a lot, Romulus recalls to Billboard. And that's exactly what happened. We literally met up for a session and from then on, the rest is history. Their history could be even more iconic after Sunday's Grammy Awards, January 28, where they have a chance to take home a gramophone for That's What I Like, which is up for both Best R&B Song and Song of the Year. The foursome also earned a Producer of the Year nomination for their work with Mars and other hitmakers including Iggy Azalea, Mo Bounds, and Lil Yachty, Better Feet. Ahead of the big night, Billboard chatted with Yip and Romulus about their relationship with Mars, the magic of working on 24K Magic, and what it would mean to them to win with their old pal.